of the exam using MixOS. Sorry for my French accent and my hoarse voice. I just recovered from a COVID week. We'll show you here or with Ryan, which goes on this talk, and we'll also speak today about mix-ups for Proxmox. How we deploy um, Bastion host and the KVM virtual machine per student for them to deploy a small app, for example, in this case, a website, which will be at the end auto-validated. More precisely, we run it last June with 70 students simultaneously. To test the ability, we offer three different levels of difficulty, which is uh, different secret for each student, to avoid treachery, um, exam subjects are generating, generated with LaTeX, but that's not the point of this talk. In this talk, we'll show you how we set up the infrastructure on which students could log in and how we did it completely declaratively with NixOS. <coughs> A little disclaimer here. Uh, to be fair, what we write in the short deadline context of uh, university exam was a bit incomplete and exer experimental. For example, no student tried to perform the last level of the exam. Um, no, I want to directly show you some part of the code, which you can also find online on git.newtype.fr slash evil slash devops exam model. Here was some of the different files we used. Uh, I will not go through all of this during this talk. I will, for example, pass on the content of KVM guess the mix, which is quite straightforward and do exactly what you can guess, which is to create a KVM guest. The idea here is to show you how simple it is to turn student data into a working configuration. I will begin by showing you the short Python salsa uh, in generate setup.py that generates some mix code, uh, which is student setup.mix that will be used later in our configuration file, which is student.mix. So let's start with our bash deploy script which is quite simple. Deploying our service is easy, thanks to NixOS. You can see that we just rsync all our Nix file on prod and NixOS rebuild switch. And before that, we run the, the generate setup.py, which is the annex part here. So uh, this script will produce as a pod student setup Nix from a CSV file containing the matching st of student may and username and the folder in which student have to send us their public SSH key, the read key function here in this code subset. The wireguard parameter function called WG gen key and pip key in the subprocess to set up the wireguard key pair for each student. And it relies on xx.py that expose the PyTunix function, which is pretty handy and let us turn a Python dick into a Nix expression. Uh, here is a random example of what looks like one entry of the Nix output that will be built later on code. Um, the student chose Debian as the guest OS for its deployment. NixOS was left as an alternative choice, but to be fair, we didn't test it yet. Um, and this is an extract of student.nix that imports the, the previous configuration file, which is generated. Uh, the idea is to map attributes over the student to declaratively uh, create KVM guests, and with the same idea, populate the right networking interface, networking host, networking wireguard interface peer, or um, service engine experience host, or security acne uh, everything you need to, to make it work. And to sum up, what we can ask, what are the benefits what are the benefits of this approach versus another one? Um, I would say NixOS make it possible to have a quick and easy iteration in our development process for this kind of project. It's, it's pretty handy. Um, five minutes was a bit tight when Ryan and I are, of course, available for answering questions on any detail of what I just not take the time to, to present. <laughs> 